During the Middle Ages, the Catholic Church established itself as the most powerful feudal institution. It positively used Christianity to strengthen the bonds between the European kingdoms and establish social behaviors to guide the lifestyles of the common people. However, it is also unarguable that there were many episodes of power abuse and violence in the name of faith throughout history. Among these events are the medieval inquisitions, arising as a response to growing religious movements that defied Catholic sovereignty and were seen as a heretical offense against God and Church. Although there have been inquisitions as early as 1184, such as the Episcopal Inquisition, and later the Papal Inquisition of 1230, the Spanish Inquisition was notable for having played a leading role in one of the darkest and cruel periods of human history, whose consequences lasted for many centuries. This video is brought to you by Curiosity Stream. If you're a history lover like me, you have to know Curiosity Stream, a subscription streaming service with thousands of documentaries from some of the world's best filmmakers. It's like a Netflix for history buffs. There, you can find documentaries and series such as Apocalypse World War II, one of the most visceral and impactful documentaries that has ever portrayed this important historical event. But Curiosity Stream has much more than historical documentaries. There, you can also find content that spans science, nature, technology, music, and sports, and new content is added weekly. Curiosity Stream is also extremely affordable at $20 a year. That's just $167 a month. Available worldwide, you can watch your favorite documentary on different platforms like Roku, Android, Xbox One, Smart TVs, iOS, Chromecast, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. Go to curiositystream.com cu for unlimited access to the world's top documentaries and nonfiction series. And for our fans, use promo code CU and you will save 25%, which comes out to only $14.99 a year. So click on the link below or go to curiositystream.com slash CU and save 25% right now. That's only $14.99 for the whole year. That's just $125 per month. The roots of the Spanish Inquisition have their origins in the multi-ethnic and multi-religious character of Spanish society. In 711, the Islamic Arabs and Moors crossed the Gibraltar Strait to the Iberian Peninsula. In a succession of military incursions, they conquered Christian Spain, at which time was ruled by the Visigoths. The Moors ruled large areas of the Iberian Peninsula until 1250, but gradually lost their territories, being restricted to the Granada region. The Reconquista did not lead to the full removal of Muslims from Spain. They, along with the Jews, were tolerated by the ruling Christian elite. Large cities like Seville and Barcelona had substantial Jewish populations centered in neighborhoods called Judea. Post-Reconquista medieval Spain was typically characterized as a society of fairly peaceful coexistence between Catholics, Muslims, and Jews, punctuated by occasional conflicts between the three religions. Despite its unevenness, there was a long tradition of Jewish service to the crown of Aragon. Jews held many important positions, both religious and political. The Castilian kingdom itself had an unofficial rabbi who worked for the crown. Anti-Semitic attitudes escalated throughout Europe during the late 13th century and into the 14th century. England and France expelled their Jewish populations in 1290 and 1306. With such anti-Jewish sentiment also increasing in Spain, the overall unrest impacted almost all Jews in Spain, and about 200,000 changed or hid their religion, becoming known by the Hebrew term Anuzim, meaning those who hide their religion. Only a handful of the top people in the Jewish community, those who found shelter among the viceroys in the cities and outlying districts, managed to escape. In 1391, a new social group appeared referred to as the converts or new Christians. Many converts now free from anti-Semitic restrictions enforced on Jewish employment, attained important positions in the 15th century Spain, including offices in the government and the church. However, the newly converted Jews generated much suspicion among Catholic population, since they were seen as traitors to their old faith, and many still secretly celebrated their prayers and religious dogmas. Religious intolerance against the Jews would increase as the years went by, but the nightmare was just beginning. The most powerful kingdoms of Spain were united in 1469 by the marriage of Queen Isabel I of Castile and King Ferdinand II of Aragon. Both monarchs were given the title of Catholic monarchs by Pope Alexander VI in recognition of their defense of the Catholic faith within their kingdoms. There are many theories about what the real reasons behind Ferdinand and Isabel's proclamation of an inquisition were. The assumptions range from the need to gain political support from the Christian population to reduce Jewish financial power and influence Spanish society or even to accomplish a religious mission by expelling those who were considered heretics by the church, thereby creating a fully Christian kingdom in Spain. 
By 1478, the Tribunal of the Holy Office of the Inquisition was established, granted authorities functioned in Spain and in all Spanish colonies and territories, which included the Canary Islands, the Kingdom of Naples, and all Spanish possessions in North, Central, and South America. The royal decrees issued in 1492 and 1502 required Jews and Muslims to convert to Catholicism or leave Castile resulted in hundreds of thousands of forced conversions, as well as the mass expulsion of Jews and Muslims from Spain. Thomas of Torquemada, a Dominican friar from Castile, was appointed General Inquisitor. Torquemada quickly established inquisitional procedures. The court could use physical torture to extract confessions once the guilt of the accused was established, owing to his widespread use of torture to elicit confessions, as well as his advocacy of burning the guilty at the stake. Torquemada's name became synonymous with cruelty, religious intolerance, and bigotry. Many people were detained in custody, accused of committing some form of heresy. There were many cases of long-term incarceration lasting up to two years, before the inquisitorial authorities could examine the case. Witchcraft and superstition, blasphemy against the name of God or questioning the church's holiness, sodomy, bigamy, and even forms of other Christianity, such as Protestantism and Orthodoxy, could be regarded as heresy. During the Spanish Inquisition, a variety of torture methods were employed. The torturer's objective was to extract a confession of heresy from the prisoner. They spared no effort in creating different procedures of physical and psychological torture besides using tools and mechanisms designed to inflict fear and agonizing pain on their victims. One method most commonly used was the strapado, consisting of a form of torture in which the victim's hands were tied behind their back and then suspended by a rope attached to their wrist, usually leading to dislocated shoulders. Weights could be added to the body to intensify the effect and increase the pain. The rack was also widely used during the Middle Ages, a person would be attached to a board at the wrist and ankles with some sort of shackle. The chains would be fastened to the cuffs. The chains would be hooked to a wheel and a crank would turn it. As the chains were pulled tight, the body would stretch and the joints, ligaments, and tendons would snap, crack, and break. Many other torture methods such as drowning, suffocation, skinning, bone breaking, and humiliation were deployed against thousands of Inquisition victims. Once a prisoner gave in to torture and confessed their crimes, even if they had not actually perpetrated them, they would be judged by a court and a sentence would be passed. The sentence could range from the confiscation of all the accused's goods and property for the crown and the church, or death by torture in a public square. The Inquisition lost its power and importance throughout Europe over the centuries. It was first abrogated during Napoleon's rule and the reign of his brother, Joseph Bonaparte, between 1808 and 1812. Finally, on July 15, 1834, the Spanish Inquisition was finally abolished by a royal decree signed by the Regent Maria Cristina of the Two Sicilies, Queen Consort of Spain. In 2000, Pope John Paul II asked forgiveness for the errors done in the service of truth through the use of methods that bear no connection with the Lord's word. The papal statement was referring to the barbarities committed by the Inquisition during the Middle Ages. The sorrowful history of the Inquisitions can serve as a warning that the misleads of the past should not be committed again and that the religious freedom should be respected by all people on earth.